Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing a technique that I learned to be known as mica hatching. I learned this from Annika Swenson years ago. I will link her original video down below in the description box, but her video inspired me to create this tumbler which has been super popular. Uh, everybody loves it every time I post about it, but up until now I have not had a public tutorial about it. So I figured the time was now. I am gonna show you kind of a different color variation though from the one you see here, uh, but the technique will remain the same. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna have all the products listed and linked down below in the description box. And of course you'll find some discount codes for you there as well. So that's enough chit chat from me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I'm working with a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven today that I've already sanded to prep and spray painted black. Once my spray paint was dry, I mixed 60 milliliters of my Artist Cure formula. And here I am just pouring about five to 10 milliliters of that epoxy into smaller medicine cups. And I'm gonna reserve about 20 to 30 milliliters of the epoxy left over in my mixing cup. To that, I'm going to add one drop of Illumilite's black epoxy dye. I prefer epoxy dye for the base coats of these projects because I feel like it suspends the colorants the best. Once I've got this mixed in, I'm going to apply it to my cup like I normally would. This part of the project is crucial because you do not want to apply too much epoxy, but you also don't want too little. If we have too much epoxy, our colorants are going to move around too much, and if we don't have enough, they're not going to move or blend at all. So I want just enough epoxy to where my hand can glide smoothly across the surface of the cup with no drag. Once I have this applied, I'm going to hit it with my propane torch to pop any bubbles. And we're gonna let this sit for a second while we mix in our other colorants with the epoxy that we divided into the medicine cups earlier. Now we're gonna mix in our colorants. I'm using four different color mica powders today and three different glitters. I'm only going to be mixing in the colorants for five of those. One of the glitters I'm gonna leave out. I will have all the colorants and glitters that I'm using today listed and linked in the description box below this video. For the mica powders, I'm only scooping about a pea size amount and mixing into our epoxy. For my glitters, I'm going to pour just enough to cover the top of our epoxy in that medicine cup. Remember that you can always add to, but you can't take away, and we don't want to add so much glitter to the epoxy that it changes the consistency of that epoxy, but we also want to have good saturation of glitter. Once we have all of our colorants mixed, I'm going to apply them to our tumbler. I'm going to start with this beautiful teal blue shifty green color. This is Rowena from Simply Sarah's Custom Creations. And you'll see that I'm just kind of drawing it into the black epoxy with my popsicle stick in a swirl that goes all the way around the cup. And I like a tighter swirl to where you can see the beginning and end of it from one end of the cup, if that makes sense. Kind of like a harsher angle, I guess. The angle of that first pass with our swirl is going to set the angle and tone for the rest of the swirl later. So it's important to get that swirl in the angle that you want it to begin with. And I'm just going to keep adding in lines of this blue color to our swirl until I'm happy with the placement. Remember that we have a couple other color of micas to add. So don't add too much because you don't want to run out of room too early in, in the game here. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm not just drizzling the colorants in. I'm actually kind of drizzle and dragging them with my popsicle stick. If you pick up too much of the black epoxy onto your popsicle stick, make sure you wipe it off before you dip it back into your colorant medicine cup so you don't contaminate those micas. That's when things start to get a little muddled. So just be mindful of that. 
Also, if you've added too much of the mica color and it's starting to look kind of gloopy and globby, you can simply just scoop it out with a clean popsicle stick or a gloved finger. Just be careful not to disturb the other lines around it as you're trying to clean that line up a bit. And you're just going to continue around the cup making passes with your mica colors until you're happy with the saturation and placement of all your colors. For the final mica color, I like to pick one bold metallic as my accent that I make very fine lines with to accent the other colors that we already put on there. In this case, it's this beautiful copper metallic. This is from nmoshop.com. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I think this is Bogart. And for this one, instead of like drizzling and dragging, I'm strictly just dragging. There's enough colorant on my popsicle stick so that when I drag it through the epoxy, it's almost like a marker. I'm getting very fine detailed lines this way. Obviously, you don't have to do it like this, but I just love the way that it accents the other colors and it's a beautiful detail. Once I'm happy with the placement of all my mica colorants, I'm going to move on to drizzle in our glittered epoxy. And I want to put the same color glitter along with the same color mica, at least kind of underneath it or around it, because it suspends and complements so beautifully next to that colored mica. After I've drizzled in my glitters, which I did a charcoal gray around the gray parts and I did that sparkling teal around the teal parts, we're going to sprinkle in by hand what I call the finishing salt. For that, we're using Sedona from Batty Glitter. This is a gorgeous, chunky copper. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that into the copper sections of our swirl. I think it's so beautiful. It looks like, like, um, like crackling embers of a fire. This is my favorite part. And it really just ties this look all together. You'll notice that I haven't applied any heat except for the torch that we used after we applied the black epoxy because we don't want our colorants to move around at all from this point. In fact, if they do and it starts to get a little gloopy in some spots, just again scoop that out with a clean popsicle stick. And this is what we should be left with. I let that dry for about six to eight hours and I'm going to come right back over to the top of that with what could be my final coat if I wanted it to be. Uh, but I just want to really level this out. Anytime we're adding a bunch of colorants like this to our epoxy, it's going to cure kind of wavy and bumpy. That's totally normal. That's why we got to put this clear coat over it to level everything out. And after this, we can either sand our rim down and put a decal on and do more final coats, or we could just call it a day and end it with this because it's beautiful. I love it. What do you guys think? These are some of my favorite cups to make. I think they're so much fun. I'm going to show you guys a few different color combinations and ideas. Again, I think the winning formula here is three to four mica colors and two to three glitter colors with an accenting sprinkling salt for the top, and you can't go wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week, or at least when I can. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love ya. We'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also, be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course, subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.